there. Welcome back to Spooktober Theater Thursday. You know, as every Thursday, I'm, you know, I do my uh, reviews on uh, movies as of October. I'm, I've am i been doing, and I will be doing Halloween-themed movies. This time, I'm going to be doing Scary Godmothers, you know, sp you know, Spooktacular. I absolutely love this film. I've watched it every time of, ho you know, around Halloween uh, since I was a kid. But if you have not seen this movie, consider this your spoiler alert. Take that in. Okay? We ready? You got your popcorn and your juice. Okay. So, how... So, Scary Godmother stars this little girl named Hannah. She's nine years old. She's, you know, she's a little girl surrounded by, like, older kids, you know, who are, you know, her, her cousin Jimmy, who is dressed like a devil, and he is, you know, kind of the leader of these, like, te teens slash preteens, and he kind of encourages his, the other friends to be mean to her, and these other friends are Katie, she dresses as a cat, there's Daryl, who's a piece of candy, I know, scariest costume ever, gives me chills, there's Bert, who's a baseball player driving his SUV, I don't know, but these group of friends all get together on Halloween, and they have to, t and as of Due to Hannah's parents, Jimmy is forced to take her with him on their trick-or-treating adventures. And because she's young and because she's, like, little, they kind of want to ditch her and, you know, go on their own and do their own teen trick-or-treating thing. So they decide to trick her by saying that every year <clears throat> when they enter a new kid into the group, like, as their group of friends, they have, like, initiation, which is, like, you know... To invite the new kid in, and as their initiation, they have to trick or treat, which is called the Spook House, which is this big, scary, abandoned house on this horrible block that you know no, everybody's so scared to go, afraid or is afraid to go to, and everything like that. So she is told that you know a kid has to trick or treat there and throw um, candy into the basement, otherwise. The monsters that supposedly live in the basement will come out and eat all the children of the world. Obviously very ridiculous, but, you know, she believes it because she's afraid of monsters. She doesn't want to get eaten. So she trick-or-treats the spook house and she throws some candy down into the, uh, you know, the basement. But the kid, when she turns around to look at Jimmy and the friends, they're all gone. They actually lock her in the spook house and they're, you know... They keep her in there to make her scream and to make her cry and to make her upset. And obviously that's not cool. And then they just keep her in there until she supposedly, you know, gets scared. And, you know, she wants to run away so they could do their own thing. But by getting upset and by getting scared, she actually invites this very nice, believe it or not, very sweet, uh, scary godmother. Who, that is her name, scary godmother. She's this belovedly wacky, fright-induced person who helps Hannah cheer up by saying that, you know, don't be scared of monsters and stuff like that. She actually has friends that are monsters in her house, which is on the fright side, which is kind of like this Halloween-themed place that she lives in. So she takes Hannah on her broom and they fly to the fright side and... Going to the fright side, she, you know, is also invited to Scary Godmother's annual Halloween party. And then when she, you know, it gets there, she starts, like, looking for her, wh what they call broom mates, which, obviously, pun on pun. She looks for Scully or Mr. Pettibone. He is the dignified, certified skeleton in the closet. He wears a top hat, and he is literally nothing but skin and bones lack the skin. So he's, you know, your dignified skeleton in the closet. And as, you know, supposedly as of a monster, you know, Hannah thinks he's scary and he thinks he's bad, but he's not. He's actually very like proper and he's actually very sweet. And he tells her that, you know, not all monsters are bad as Scary Godmother tries to prove. And 
she learns this as she meets more and more monsters. In fact, she eventually meets this werewolf named Harry, who is, like, beyond lazy. He, you know, he doesn't want to do anything. All he wants to do is sleep and eat, you know, and he just, you know, eventually he ends up eating all the food, but, you know, he just... He's just a disaster, and he has to paint the, cl the clouds in the sky, and he doesn't want to because he thinks Scary Godmother's like a, like a, you know, like a sergeant or something. But, you know, he's Harry. You learn to love him, but, you know. But eventually, as of moving on, he, uh, you know, she gets used to more monsters. She's also introduced to a royal family of vampires. There's um, Count Max, the white, his wife Ruby, and their son Orson. He is the prince. He is, you know, the prince of the vampires. He's, like, prince of the darkness, if you will. And, you know, she befriends him, obviously, that, that being her first vampire and him being that her, you know, his first human. They click eventually, and then, you know, she asks him questions. He asks her questions. They go back and forth. But eventually, you know, she continues to find that all monsters aren't that bad. You just have to get to know a few good ones. And, you know, after that... She meets the biggest, the supposedly scariest, most horrible, supposed monster ever, and that is Bugaboo. He is kind of your classic monster under the bed. He is, you know, he has like a schedule, and he has to scare, and he scares kids, and they actually, you know, she finds him beyond scary, and she tries to throw him out, actually. She, tries, she says, you know, to stay away from her, and then... She finds that, you know, she says, maybe monsters aren't mean after all. She says, you know, maybe you're not big and mean after all. And, she, and he says, monsters aren't mean, you know. And she kind of learns this through bonding with him, through actually eating pizza, because they both like cheese and olives on their pizza. You know, if you like cheese and olives on your pizza, come write a comment in the blow, mo moving on. But, you know, she ends up giving him a piece of candy, and then... You know, they all become best friends, and they all decide to help her scare Jimmy and the kids who, like, scared her back, you know, because they think that they deserve a lesson. So, after they, you know, they all go back from the Fright Side to the horror house, or the, you know, spook house, the, the kids go in, and, um, and, uh, they, uh, you know, they in interact with the monsters, like Scully's a lamp, so he goes click, 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 click when you click his arm, it's really funny. But, uh, they all decide to scare him by, you know, uh, scaring the teens, but, uh, they fake that, um, Hannah's flashlight, which is supposedly a lie that monsters aren't afraid of flashlights, but they fake it, so it looks like, Her you know, Hannah's the hero. And then, so, through it all, you know, she... Like, ends up liking monsters, and then Jimmy and his friends end up being afraid of monsters. Kind of a, you know, comedy turn, if you will. But overall, I love this movie. If I had to give it a, you know, a rating out of 1 out of 5, I'll give it a 5. It's absolutely 100% recommended from, you know, from me to you, whether, you know, you have kids or even if you just love Halloween. But overall, I would say that if the movie has, like, one point, it's about image, or maybe not about image, but it's about kind of like don't judge a book by its cover. Like, don't let something that looks bad, like, necessarily let it rot your mind or taint your mind saying that it's automatically bad. Not everything. You gotta try stuff out. But it, that's it for this video. If you have anything to suggest, here's my Facebook and my new Twitter. I know I've been constantly back and forth with the Twitter. I had some phone issues, but here it is all down there so if you have something you know comment and write below and i'll see you guys in the next video bye